Hey guys, I'm Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the Tuft Needle and Layla mattress. I'm going to be running through the similarities, the differences, the construction differences, and letting you know what type of sleeper should get one over the other, so you're going to want to stay tuned. We'll start off this review by talking about what's similar between these two mattresses. They're both very popular mattresses. They both come with great customer service, very customer friendly policies, things like sleep night trials and warranties, returns, things of that nature. About the same thickness overall, and they have a pretty similar base layer as well, and they're all foam mattresses. All right, now let's move on to what's different between these two mattresses. Number one is price. So when you incorporate discounts with the Layla, it's gonna be about $200 more expensive for a queen. It's also materials differences. The Layla has four layers. It has memory foam in it in two layers, a transition layer and a base layer. Tuft Needle just has two layers. It has its own proprietary foam over a base layer. There's gonna be firmness differences as well. I think the Tuft and Needle is gonna kinda of come in the middle of the firm side and the soft side of the Layla. So definitely firmness differences as well. And then there's gonna be feel differences too. Um, really just kind of that memory foam feel of the Layla versus more of a balanced feel overall from the Tuft & Needle. Now let's break down the construction of both mattresses and see what the differences are. Starting with the Tuft & Needle, very no frills, simple construction, basically just two layers. You've got a base layer and then three inches of the comfort layer. It is a proprietary foam. It's called adaptive foam, so it kind of combines memory foam and latex-like qualities. So it should have pretty good pressure relief, but it's also going to be very responsive, so you won't get that feeling of getting stuck. So you're going to feel more that you sleep on top of the Tuft & Needle versus sleeping in the Layla. So moving on to the Layla now, uh, pretty interesting construction here. You actually have four different layers. The top and bottom layer are the same material. You have one inch of memory foam on the firm side, then a base layer, then a transition layer, and then three inches of that same copper infused memory foam on the soft side. So you have about five inches with three inches and then a two inch transition layer of comfort material. If you're on your side and you're on the soft side, it's going to feel very nice and pressure relieving. You're going to really sink into the mattress. The memory foam is kind of that slow moving, quick sandy feel. So if you really want to sink into your mattress, that's going to be more what you get with the Layla versus sleeping on top of the Tuft & Needle. Um, so pretty interesting construction here. I think stomach and back sleepers, probably more stomach sleepers want to go with the firm side and definitely soft side would be more appropriate for side sleepers. Uh, as far as durability is concerned, I would put both at about a tie. It's really hard to say that one will definitely be better than the other. And as far as breathability is concerned, I'd probably give the slight advantage to a Tuft & Needle. Now let's talk about the firmness and feel of both mattresses. So the Layla has two sides, a firm side and a soft side. Put the soft side at about a five and a half out of 10, the firm side at eight out of 10. Put the Tuft Needle at about a six and a half out of 10. So it's gonna be in the middle of the firm and the soft side of the Layla. As far as feel is concerned, it really comes down to, do you like memory foam, uh, the quick sandy, slow moving feel? That's what you're gonna get with the Layla versus more of a kind of a balanced foam feel overall with the Tuft Needle. You're gonna get pretty good pressure relief, but it's gonna be an immediately responsive foam. You're gonna feel like you sleep more on top of the Tuft Needle rather than sinking into the Layla. There's gonna be more bounce on the Tuft Needle, so if you drop a lacrosse ball, it's gonna bounce right up. Uh, it's gonna be kind of die over the, on the Layla, so definitely feel differences there as well. Now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses. Starting on the Tuft Needle on my back, it's a good match for me. It's kind of that medium firmness. Uh, it feels very supportive overall, so a good match for me. On the Layla, on the soft side, I feel it's a pretty decent match for me as well. You could go on the firm side, but I feel like it's maybe just a little bit too firm. So I'd probably prefer the Tuft & Needle for back sleeping. Switching onto my side now on the Tuft & Needle, I don't feel too much pressure. There is a little bit of firmness on my shoulders and hips. On the Layla, this is where it really shines. You got five inches, three inches of that memory foam, then two inches of that transition layer. Uh, that memory foam really just melts that pressure away. So great match for me on my side. Probably prefer Layla for side sleeping. Stomach sleeping, I don't think I would prefer either one. I don't think they're the best fits. So the Tuft & Needle is just a little bit too soft. If anything, I would go for the firm side of the Layla if you are a stomach sleeper. All right, guys, quick break from this video. Wanted to let you know that we actually give away a $500 Amazon gift card once a month to one lucky YouTube subscriber. To enter for a chance to win, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video and then subscribe to our YouTube channel. So comment anything on this video and then subscribe. And then every month you'll get a chance to win a $500 Amazon gift card. And that's it, back to the video. At Mattress Clarity, we like to mix subjective opinions with objective tests. One test we really like is the pressure map test. I get down on my backside and stomach uh, on the pressure map. You see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. Shows exactly how well the mattresses relieve pressure. So if we show these side sleeping results here, you'll see that it's kind of mixed results, but I would say the Layla wins in this case and relieves pressure a little bit better. 
Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person and I want to give my experience with these two mattresses. So today we have the Layla mattress here and we have the Tuft and Needle. The Layla is going to have two sides. So in terms of firmness, the Layla was a 6 out of 10 on the soft side and 8 out of 10 on the firm side. The Tuft and Needle here, a 6.5 out of 10 for firmness. In terms of sleeping positions, over on the lay, I'm going to focus more on the soft side. So on my back, not quite enough support. I'm kind of following the mattress a little bit, not quite getting enough support on my lumbar area there specifically. On my side, good, really good pressure relief. On my shoulders and my hips, barely any pressure there. On my stomach, I definitely need more overall support. I'm kind of sinking the mattress of the hips there, getting out of alignment. Over here in the tuft and needle on my back as well, not quite enough support. I'm kind of sinking the mattress there. On my side, good pressure relief. Uh, good pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. On my stomach, definitely not enough support. I'm definitely sinking the mattress as well like it did in the Layla. So what does that mean? I think if you are a heavier back sleeper, both mattresses are probably too soft for you. You might want to look at the, either the firm side of the Layla or a firmer mattress overall. If you're a side sleeper, both could work. And if you're a stomach sleeper, again, they're both a little bit too soft. However, you could try the firmer side of the Layla or a firmer mattress. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're going to want to consider when looking at a mattress. That's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically if your partner moves around on that side of the bed, is that motion to be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? Edge supports, can you sit on the edge of the bed? Can you sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're going to fall off? Now, motion transfer wise, given that Layla has memory foam on top, it does a very good job of isolating motion. I would say it wins in this case. As far as edge support is concerned, they both don't have very good edge support at all, but I would give Layla the slight advantage here. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, who should get one mattress over the other? As far as who should get the Layla, I think it's definitely the softer of the two. So if you're looking for just a softer mattress, the soft side is quite soft, about a five and a half out of 10, could be the way to go. I think it shines with side sleeping. It's just an excellent choice for side sleepers. So if you sleep on your side mainly, I think Layla's probably the way to go. If you like memory foam feel, you want to sink into your mattress rather than sleep on top of the mattress, I think the Layla is the way to go. As far as who should get the tuft and needle, I think if you want a medium firm mattress, it's just kind of right in that happy medium, six and a half out of 10, uh, right about the medium of the mattresses that we've reviewed, this is the way to go. I think if you sleep on your back, it's a little bit more supportive uh, in my opinion, so I think it might be the way to go there. Um, and if you want to sleep on top of your mattress rather than sinking into your mattress, that's more of the feel that you get here. All right, so that's basically it. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of these similarities and differences. I think the differences are pretty clear. The feels are quite different, but if for some reason you're still a little bit confused, all you have to do is leave a comment below, tell me a little bit of information about yourself and I can give you a personal recommendation. And if you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you wanna see a list of our top picks, simply Google mattress clarity best mattress. And once again, let me know if you have any questions.